The third feature that I want to talk about in uh, this platform highlights is the uh, improvements to uh, metadata translations that were introduced in 236.0. This has two separate um, kind of dimensions to it. The first is that we've made it much easier to uh, add metadata properties to the set of things that can be translated um, so that it uh, is much easier to adapt as the metadata model changes in DHS2. Um, so you should see many more um, properties of metadata items being able to be translated in the near future. Um, also, we've used that capability to make many more things translatable in 236.0 itself. So we have, as you can see, six different JIRA issues here for different things that were added to the set of translatable metadata properties. Um, and I will just demonstrate one of those here uh, today. And I'm looking at validation rule management here, and I will go ahead and translate my ANC2 is less than or equal to ANC1 validation rule. Um, I can go and click on the translate button and select a locale. I will select French. Uh, and we can see here that, sorry if my screen is a little too big or too small, but you can see here that we have description and instruction, whereas previously instruction was missing as a translatable property in 235. So this has been uh, improved in this case by adding the instruction property to something that can be translated in 236. Uh, and you'll see more and more of those that were introduced in both in 236 as well as will be uh, more, more readily um, added and updated in the near future.